नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दी रेशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन टू रेशनल नंबर्स दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एट चैप्टर नंबर वन रेशनल नंबर्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो नाउ वी नो दैट देर आर नंबर सेट्स दैट आर नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स एंड रेशनल नंबर्स सो इफ यू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट दैट हाउ मेनी रेशनल सॉरी हाउ मेनी नेचुरल नंबर्स आर देयर बिटवीन वन एंड सेवन दैट यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट देर आर टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स बिटवीन वन एंड सेवन इन द सेम वे यू कैन इजिली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर द होल नंबर्स एंड नेचुरल नंबर्स so what is the case for rational numbers the case for the rational numbers is different from previous three number of sets as we know that there are finite numbers between two natural numbers two integers and two whole numbers but for rational numbers there are infinitely many numbers between two rational numbers okay so today we will study about this thing suppose there are two numbers on the number line 0 and 1 right so is there any number between 0 and 1 yes what is the mid value of 0 and 1 to find out the mid value of 0 and 1 we have to add these two numbers 0 and 1 and then divide it by 2 so here we will get 1 By two, that is equals to zero point five. So between zero and one, we get one number that is one upon two. So is there only one number between zero and one? No. Actually, there are many numbers between zero and one. To understand this thing, now we will magnify this portion zero and one. So by magnifying this portion, we will get zero here and one here. by magnifying this now we will, we can see that there are 10 numbers between 0 and 1 and this number is out of that 10 numbers in your scale you have seen that in 1 cm there are 9 parts 9 arcs and that is why there are 10 parts actually so one part is called 1 mm and you know that 10 mm is equals to 1 cm so by joining 10 parts of mm you can get 1 cm in the same way here also between 0 and 1 we can get 10 numbers which are equidistant from one another right so as there are 10 numbers between 0 and 1 we have to divide this all the numbers with 10 such that we can get that 10 numbers so what you have to do first of all write down 0 and 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 10 in this way then divide all the numbers by 10 so here you will get 0 upon 10 1 upon 10 2 upon 10 3 upon 10 4 upon 10 5 upon 10 6 upon 10 7 upon 10 8 upon 10 9 upon 10 and 10 upon 10 Now 10 upon 10 is what? 1. 0 upon 10 is what? 0. So here is our 0. Here is our 1. Where is our 1 by 2 is? See here. What is this? This is 5 upon 10. 5 upon 10 means 1 upon 2 because 5 is the common factor in 5 and 10. So by cancelling the common factor, we will get here 1 upon 2. Right? So now. you can see that this is the mid point 0 and 0.5 between there are 1 2 3 and 4 numbers and 0.5 and 1.0 again there are four numbers so this is the mid point okay so to find out the mid point in between two numbers you can use this method okay so now this all numbers are in the form of decimal numbers we can convert it into the decimal numbers so here are the decimal forms 
zero upon ten means zero. One upon ten is zero point one. In the same way, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four, zero point five, zero point six, zero point seven, zero point eight, zero point nine, and one point zero. So these are the both kind of representation: rational numbers and decimal form. So is there only ten numbers between one and zero and one? No. There are also another numbers. So how to find? So let's again magnify these two numbers, zero point four and zero point five. So by magnifying this portion, we get here zero point four, here zero point five. As we have done here, magnifying zero and one. Now we will magnify zero point four and zero point five. So as we have divided here with ten. Here we will divide with hundred. So first number zero point four we can write down as four zero four hundred, right? So what is the next number is forty one upon hundred. Add one in forty one we will get forty two upon hundred. Add one to forty two we will get forty three upon hundred. In the same way forty four upon hundred. Then the last number we will get is fifty upon hundred, right? so this is the representation of in the rational form and here is the representation in the decimal form so 40 upon 100 means 0 upon 40 this is 0.41 0.42 0.43 0.44 and the last number we will get is 0.50 so now see here these 10 numbers are between 0.4 and 0.5 In the same way, we can get ten numbers between zero point five and zero point six. In the same way, we will get ten numbers between zero point eight and zero point nine. So now you can think that there are infinite numbers between any two numbers. From where we have start, we have start from zero and one, and up to this, how many numbers we get? Ten years. And ten years, twenty numbers. If we magnify another portion, we again get the ten numbers. Okay. So now this concept is clear in your mind that any numbers, infinitely many numbers, we can find out between two rational numbers. Right. We will study about the exercise one point two, question number four. This is the topic of standard eight, chapter number one. Rational numbers. So, what is the question? Question is find ten rational numbers between minus two upon five and one upon two, right? So, uh, now we know that we already studied that there are infinitely many numbers between two rational numbers. But here we have to find out only ten rational numbers. So, how to find the ten rational numbers? So, what are the given numbers? C one upon uh, minus two upon five and one upon two. So first of all, we have to notice first step that we have to notice is their denominators. Here is five, here is two. First of all, we have to make their denominators same. To do that, we will take the LCM of five and two. What is the LCM of five and two? That is ten. You know that very well. So now what we have to do is we have to make here ten. To do this, we have to multiply this number with two, but both in the numerator and the denominator, right? So now this minus two upon five is becomes minus two upon five multiplied by two upon two. Here we are actually not changing the value of minus two upon five because We are multiplying with numerator and denominator both at the same at the same time with the same number. So as this cancel out each other, what will remain minus two upon five. So we are actually not changing the value of minus two upon five. So now this number becomes minus two into two that is minus four and five to the ten. Again, here also we have to set ten. So we have to multiply this two with five. But we just not multiply it uh, in the denominator with five. We have to multiply in both the numerator and denominator with the same number, so that its value remains as it is. That is why here equal sign is there. 
So this 1 upon 2 is now 1 upon 2 multiplied by 5 upon 5. So in the numerator it is 5 on the 5, in the denominator it is 5 to the 10. So now you can see that both the numbers have now the denominators are same. Right? So what we have to do is we just represent minus 2 upon 5 in the another form and 1 upon 2 in the another form. But its value is uh, again its values are same. We do not change its value. So we have to find out 10 rational numbers between. Between means the number we have now to re, uh, find out which must be greater than this number and less than of this number. Right? Greater than of this number and less than of this number. So the greater number of this number is what? Minus 3 upon 10. Now the greater number of minus 3 upon 2 is minus 2 upon 10. In the same way, we can find out minus 1 upon 10, 0 upon 10, 1 upon 10, 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10 and 4 upon 10. But here is the limit. We do not have to take this number because the number should be less than of this number and this is the last number. So how many numbers we get between this minus 4 upon 10 and 5 upon 10? That means between minus 2 upon 5 and 1 upon 2. Calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here we get only 8 numbers. But the question is to find out 10 rational numbers. So now what we have to do? See, again, we will now use these numbers and multiply this number with 2 into 2. 2 upon 2. Both in the numerator and denominator with the same number. Right? Here, you can also multiply this number with any number greater than 2 or by 2. That means, you can now multiply both this number with either 2, either 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? It is up to you. You can multiply both the numbers with any number which is 2 or greater than 2. So, I have taken here 2 as both the numerator and denominator. So, now this number we know that is this minus 4 upon 10. Again, we are not changing the value here. We just multiplying it in the both the numerator and denominator. In the same way, this number becomes minus 8 upon 20. Now, this number is changed. Again, we are not actually changing the value of minus, uh, 1 upon 2. Right? We just multiply it with 2 and 2 with both numerator and denominator. So this number is now become 10 upon 20. You can notice that minus 8 upon 20 is equals to minus 2 upon 5 and 10 upon 20 is equals to 1 upon 2. So this is the another forms of the given numbers. Now again we have to find out the numbers which are greater than of this number and less than of this number. So, greater number of minus 8 upon 20 is minus 7 upon 20. Greater number of minus 7 upon 20 is minus 6 upon 20. In the same way, we get minus 5 upon 20, minus 4 upon 20, minus 3 upon 20, minus 2 upon 20, minus 1 upon 20, 0 upon 20, 1 upon 20, 2 upon 20, 3 upon 20, 4 upon 20, 5 upon 20, 6 upon 20, 7 upon 20, 8 upon 20 and 9 upon 20. Because this is the last number. Because we do not have to cross this number. Right? So now you can calculate how many numbers we get here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. And how many numbers we have to give in the question as an answer? 10 numbers. So you can choose any 10 numbers out of these numbers. Right? So now you can think that if we, what happened if we here multiply 3 by 3, 3 by 3 both the, both the numbers. You get more numbers, right? And what will happen if we multiply 10 by 10 both the side? You can get many numbers, right? But as here we have asked to find out only 10 numbers, we can easily do it with multiplying with 2 by 2, right? So in this way, 
we can find out the rational numbers between two given rational numbers. What we have to do is, first of all, make both the denominator sign, then check if we get the uh, required number, then it is no issue. But if we cannot get the required number, then we again have to multiply both the numbers, both the new numbers with uh, number greater than 1. Right? So, in this way, we can find out uh, the required numbers. Right? So, this is all about this lecture. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.